Okie dokie. I'm gonna just let this drop because it's gonna drop. So, alrighty. Now we on to these little sidey, sidey sides. I really don't know how I wanna do this look right here on the side. So, what I'm gonna do is. You need a razor or something? Oh my God. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is just pretty much um, trim the sides down. Uh, so, you wanna take it, make sure it's not too, too long, but I want it to be. You know, natural giving, because it's definitely giving me Japanese faces, period. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, as you can see, what we were talking about with the wig being small, I did have to go in and customize the sides, which I'm going to have to um bring for when I bring the, um well, when I sew it down right there. But I'm not because we all know Nessa. She switched her wigs like crazy. So I'm not going to do all of that. But if it was a regular client, I was to sew that down. But I'm not. So we're going to take that piece and put it down. And bring this little piece of hair out. Um, Nessa, what do you feel? You feel like um, a nice sideburn, a long sideburn? And you want a little curl? I want a little curl. A little curl? I like a little curl. So we're going to take the flat irons, the mini ones. Okay, the miniature ones. I feel like everyone needs to invest in these little mini ones. Yeah, definitely invest these. Now, I'm just pulling those down. Now, we're going to go in and trim this again. You want it to be, you want it to be long. Because if you do that curl, you know, curls kind of shrink. Kind of like layering the curl, basically, because you want that S to be, you know, right on, the right spot on. <laughs> I like to go in with the flat iron and flatten it down just to get a nice base to see how everything looks and feels. So then now, after this, we're going to curl and give her that curl. And this is the part. This is the part where you don't go downwards and come inwards. You go outwards. Okay? So we're going to take that. And we're going to slowly start kind of like in the mid-middle and fold that around and keep bringing it around. There you go. So, you got that nice little fluffy curl. And what I also like to do is when I get that curl with the... Um, so now, we got our nice little fluffy baby here on the side. You know, little, 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 little something. Okay. And now I like to work my way around just to see how it's gonna look now sometimes it usually be fluffy so what i also like to do is go it back in and pluck some of it out don't pluck too much just make sure it looks super 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 natural okay so i'm gonna go in and go downwards don't go sideways or frontwards because you will pull that lace down kind of be gentle with it and just start plucking just start plucking, just start plucking, 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 pow, 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 Once you get a hang of it, you'll fucking start doing it really fast. Okay. So, now this. This is my favorite. What I usually use, it is the spritz. Now, this is extreme hold. I spray it two times on a brush. Don't spray it three, don't spray it four, don't spray it five, because it will drop. And it will leak down the side of her face. Okay, so, so boom, boom, bow. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and take that and we're going to brush it, bring it forward. Okay? Don't bring it down and around. Bring it forward. So going towards her face. Okay? So why don't you like spraying it on the hair? I don't spray it on the hair because... The hair will actually pull up because I know it's spritz, but it's still liquid. So you do have glue underneath it. Mm -hmm. And if you spray too much, it's either going to get hard and it's going to be very difficult to work with. I don't. I The reason I like putting a little on a brush is because it, it builds up a, the small amount of product on the hair instead of putting a whole bunch on there and then it just builds up right there so the baby hair be super super wet we want a super natural baby hair okay. super natural every time you spray spritz on this you want to do two pumps you can do one but i usually do two okay make your head make your client have her head tilted okay because this bitch like to move around <laughs> okay. 
So remember, you want to go face front and bring it around and kind of comb it downwards. It's not going to do nothing until probably about like the third or fourth spray you do because you don't, you just want to work it into that direction. Okay. Right. Because what this does is it pretty much dries every time you, you put it on there. So now, see, the third time it's starting to stick more. Now, the fourth time when I spray it and then put it on it, we pretty much got the baby hair down pat. lace if your lace is not down on the side your baby hairs will not stay to stay down all right now this is the fourth spray you see we already kind of got it down so now what i'm doing is this last swoop is going to dry up we're going to give it a couple minutes and then we're going to comb through it because what it's doing is it pull it's pulling out but it's still staying in that form because real baby hairs don't stick to the skin to the um skin okay okay Remember, what did I say? Four pumps on this, on this baby, uh, on this edge brush. Two times every time you squirt it out. One, 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 two squirts, brush, and then another time, three more times, okay? Or well, basically whenever you feel like it's molded down correctly, okay? All right. So. All righty. So now we got both of them done. This one only took me two tries because the thinner the hair, the faster it's gonna be for it to dry because it's not a lot of hair on it. So now we're gonna go back to this side. Now remember, we don't we don't like gel baby hairs. Please don't gel your baby hairs down and make them stick to your skin. Thank you. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> okay. So now what we're doing is we're pretty much going back in and combing it out, okay? So combing it out, see baby hair, but still that curl with it, okay? And I highly recommend if you guys... If you guys do your makeup, don't you do your makeup after, okay? Because spritz is definitely a mess, and you don't want to mess up your sides. Look like you, your hair was crying, shit. <laughs> we got the baby hairs going. Baby hairs going. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Yes, honey. Mm hmm. All right. So now let's bring everything to the front and see the final look. <laughs> so beat. So fucking beat. I definitely recommend this wig a lot. I love the color. I love the texture. I love how silky it is. It got a natural shine to it. So you did wash it. Tay did wash this wig. Yeah, I definitely washed it in. You <laughs> saw. So beat.
wig i know we kind of rated it earlier but me and taylor we're gonna rate it together so i give this wig an 8 out of 10 the hair is super nice <clears throat> it is a little bit of shedding the cap is kind of small and the lace is kind of dark but the hair itself it looks so pretty um i like the color of it i like the fact that the the what they did was the hair was like tracks with it was like the book that that grayish hair it was like tracks yeah instead of it being dyed like the black hair so they did it with tracks so cute so be so silky i literally i i just i'm in love with it i definitely will recommend it if you're looking for some um some highlights i've never seen a wig like this before at all so yeah, same. This is the first I ever seen a wig like this. I never saw. It's giving like a purple gray. And Tay melted this lace. Yeah, off. melted. Like, melted. yeah. So this wig is from V Show Hair. I will have everything listed down below for you guys, so you guys can definitely check out this hair. This wig was a twenty-four inch. I'm not twenty-four. This wig was a twenty-six inch wig, and it was straight. Definitely living for it. Like, look, get into the color, you guys. And like I said, this wig, it was tracks of it. Was like the like the grayish color. It wasn't the black hair wasn't dyed, so they put the tracks inside the wig in the back. But this wig is so freaking pretty, so pretty. And like Tay said, definitely a very nice silky wig. If the style says good. That means it's good. One, another thing I will recommend, I mean, I will suggest is that it is kind of thin. It is. But it was from probably the minimal shed or the shedding that did occur when I, um, when I was washing the wig. But I think what happened was they super bleached, they literally super bleached this hair because the, um, the frontal did have highlights in it. So they right. tried to match the highlights to the hair in the back. And that probably what was causing the breakage and also the shedding too. So, 8 out of 10. I'm still giving it an 8 out of 10 yeah, because it is so be. It is so, so bomb. If you want to, you can always add tracks to it too. We got spaces in a wig that um that you can add. Tracks. You can always just... Make it thicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this color is so be, you guys. It's so silky. You know, we got all of that going on right there. I'm yeah. obsessed. This color, fire. As you can see for this hair, uh, definitely check out Tay's Instagram. I will have her Instagram link below for you guys. Same thing for this hair. I will have the hair link below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the two styles kind of vibes. Um, I love them both. So I can't pick which one's my favorite one. I never did a style like this and the first style before. But I am living for this swoop, you guys. Definitely, definitely beats. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I want to give you guys a review about this hair from V Show. Definitely still a very good wig. I feel like wigs tend to shed anyways. Wigs are going to shed regardless. And also, too, I feel like the reason why I think it's shedding is because Tay was plucking the wig. When you pluck the wig and brushing it out, it's going to be some shedding. Any wig has shedding, period. Um, definitely give me and Tay definitely give this wig an 8 out of 10. It's very soft, very silky. Like Tay said, Tay never seen a wig like color like this before. Yeah, I've never seen this color before. It's different. It's definitely a pop. It's something that you can go for during the day. You can go party with it. You yes. Can birthday but, wear. Shit, you can wear any. You can do anything with this. Yeah, wig. this hair definitely gives me birthday vibes. Yeah. Definitely birthday vibes. So yeah, definitely check out this hair. Check out me. Check out Tay's Instagram. My pictures will be posted on there, so you guys can see them periods and do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to comment below of what your thoughts are about this hair and 
Don't forget to hit the notification bell. The notification bell will notify you whenever I post videos, period. So I will check in with you guys in my next video. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Love you guys.